Hi there. Question for the day is how to obtain a three phase AC supply from a given DC supply. The solution to the question is three phase inverter. For obtaining a three phase AC output from a DC battery, we will use a DC battery, six thyristors as switches and a star connected load with four terminals A, B, C and O. The switches are triggered on and off at regular intervals of 60 degrees. The sequence is programmed to obtain a three phase voltage. There are two possible patterns based on the length of the gating switches. First, 180 degree conduction in which each thyristor remains on for 180 degrees and second is 120 degree conduction in which each thyristor conducts for 120 degrees. We will study 180 degree mode of operation in this session. The circuit operates in six steps, each step being of 60 degrees. Each thyristor is triggered after an interval of 60 degrees and remains on for 180 degrees. Starting with thyristor 1 which fires at 0 and conducts till 180 degrees. While T1 is conducting, T2 fires when omega T equals 60 and remains on till 240 degrees. The pattern continues for thyristors 3, 4, 5 and 6. The sequence is continued for another cycle of 360 degrees. In step 1 that is 0 to 60, thyristors 5, 6, 1 are on simultaneously. Similarly in step 2, 6, 1, 2, step 3, 1, 2, 3, step 4, 2, 3, 4, step 5, 3, 4, 5 and in step 6, thyristors 4, 5, 6 are conducting at once. The pattern repeats for further cycles. We shall now see how the circuit responds to step 1. In step 1, thyristors 5, 6, 1 are conducting. So close those three switches. Now draw an equivalent circuit. The DC supply has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. It is seen that terminal A and C are connected to the positive bus while terminal B is connected to the negative bus. There is a terminal O in common. Each load has an impedance Z. As OA and OC are in parallel and the combination is in series with OB, the total circuit impedance is Z plus Z by 2. If a current I1 flows in the closed circuit, it will drop potential as per polarity shown. The value of current is given by total voltage divided by the total impedance, which in this case is 2 by 3 into Vs upon Z. The total voltage drop across each impedance will be total current multiplied by total impedance. The voltages developed will be VAO, VCO and VOB. Note that we consider OB and not BO as O is neutral hence more positive compared to B which is connected to negative terminal in step 1. Consider step 2 with thyristors 6, 1, 2 in conduction. The equivalent circuit in this case has A on positive bus, B and C on the negative bus. The current will have same magnitude, however the voltage drop across the loads will vary as the parallel combination is across OB and OC this time. In step 3, 1, 2, 3 work together. The equivalent is identical to step 1 as bus 1 has two loads and bus 2 has one load connected to it. The current value is same but voltage values are different. Step 4, 2, 3, 4 conduct at the given instance of time. Equivalent is similar to step 2. The voltage values are changing as per the impedance values. In step 5, thyristors 3, 4, 5 work together and in step 6 thyristors 4, 5, 6 conduct together. It is seen that series load gets more voltage drop and the parallel load gets lower voltage drop. Now we plot the values. The three phase 
line to neutral voltages to be plotted are VAO, VBO and VCO. But in some cases voltages VOA, OB and OC are calculated. VAO is equal to minus of VOA. The relation is shown in the table. The calculated upper value is 2Vs by 3 and lower value is minus 2Vs by 3. We need to plot the values on the graph. So divide all the axes into four sections. 2Vs by 3, Vs by 3, minus Vs by 3 and minus 2Vs by 3. Do the same for the other two axes. The values to be plotted in order to obtain line to neutral voltages are shown in the table. The three values in step 1 are plotted followed by step 2 till step 6. The sequence will repeat for another cycle. After all the values are plotted, join the lines to complete the line to neutral voltage plot. For obtaining line to line plot VAB subtract VBO from VAO. The highest magnitude obtained is V of S and the lowest is minus of V of S. The voltage values for VBC are similar with shift of 60 degrees. Voltage VCA is difference between VCO and VAO. The complete plot looks like that shown in the figure. It can be noted that line to neutral voltage VAO and VBO, VBO and VCO have a difference of 60 degrees. The same is the case between line to line voltage values as well. Using six thyristors and a star connected load, we obtained three phase AC supply from a DC supply. Hope you like this video. Any queries, drop them in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe for more such content. Thank you.